Thanks for joining us, everyone. Glad you're here. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Netta Irampour. We'll get right to our top story here. Right now, there's a push to stiffen the penalties for anybody who distributes hate speech flyers in San Diego. This all comes after anti-Semitic flyers were found in several neighborhoods recently. CBS 8's Kelly Hustle joining us live from Temple Emanuel in Del Cerro, where a news conference there just wrapped up addressing this, Kelly. Yeah, and that's right. And the majority of these incidents have happened in historically Jewish neighborhoods, including Del Cerro, San Carlos, as well as Allied Gardens. Now, uh, Council Member Raul Campillo, he represents this district, and he just told me this. I get text messages and calls from neighbors saying, what are you going to do about this? Our kids are terrified. We don't want them to see this. We don't want them to go to school scared that they are going to be confronted by someone who's flyering these or, uh, God forbid, attacks them. We know that we've seen an uptick in anti-Semitic violence itself. And he's referring to the attack on a rabbi at a 7-Eleven near SDSU earlier this summer. He also brought up the shooting four years ago at the Havana Poway. Now, today at a news conference here at Temple Emanuel, uh, Councilmember Campillo, along with Jewish leaders as well as the Anti-Defamation League, announced they are pushing for stronger penalties against people who distribute hate speech flyers. Right now, the only penalty if you're caught distributing them is a ticket. So catching these people has been tough. Uh, they're putting them out on car windshields in the middle of the night so people wake up to seeing them. Can Pio says he's working with the city's city attorney's office on making this a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail. So they're hoping this will help deter people from doing this and also send a message that the city of San Diego does not tolerate hate speech. So back out here live. I also just talked to a police lieutenant who was out here and asked him for an update on that uh, situation involving the rabbi near SDSU. He tells me they have identified a person of interest and they're hoping to have someone in custody soon. Kelly Hassett, CBS 8.